Hello guys, my name is William Damopoli. I'm from Binus University, Computer Science major. And today I'm making a video in order to fulfill my English for Business final project. And it is about the implementing of technology in education. So, uh, we live in modern age. I mean, where innovation is evolving as time passes. Everything is supported by technological power, both social, work, education, even daily activities. In the field of education itself, there are many innovations that emerge, starting from calculators, dictionaries, encyclopedias, until the forum to learn. Maybe first, students will gather in one place to discuss a lesson, whether it's school, home, or most of them is a place of tutoring. But now, uh, there's come out an application that becomes a media for students to learn, to ask or answer questions and discuss it. The application is Brainly. So, why I choose this application for this project? I choose Brainly because most of my friends and me use this application since high school. So, let's jump into the uh, application itself. Although it is an educational-based application, the features and methods of this app are quite interesting and suitable for children. Why? It works the same as the games, which initially we have to make an account, get main points, and in here, points are used for asking questions. The higher point we have, the higher our rank in Brainly. So, uh, we can answer question and we can ask question. And the Brainly app itself will pick about five best question and the best answer every day. So the better our performance, the more interesting our profile will be. The questioners are also entitled to give thanks to one best answer. So in here, uh, besides collecting point, we also collecting thank you. <laughs> okay, so the more you answer correctly, the best lesson static will show up in your profile. Now, so what is the purpose of making this project? Almost all of my friends use this application to help their assignment from school. And I'm curious, how do they know this application? Why, why they trust this application? Are their score improved after using this app? By questionnaire method, I want to know students' opinion and feedback from using this application. There are six questions and I have made it, and it's all about students' background and opinion about brain. So my target focus is on high school students and college students. And for the questionnaire, I use Google Form so the final response is all safe in my drive. There are 32 responses and only two respond that don't know about Brainly. So we have exactly 30 responses in this project. And the language that I use for the survey is Bahasa Indonesia. So the students will answer and giving opinion easily. Okay, now we are going to the questionnaires. The first question is, how do you know this app? And from 30 responses, 75%, which is about 20%, know it by searching through Google. So this means, uh, I want to ask, what is metamorphism? I searched it on Google and the suggested answer is coming out from Brainly app, from the web. This means, Brainly is quite trusted because even Google recommended it for the best answer. And only 18% of the responses having a Brainly account, which is means only about two or three respondents have Brainly account. And then we can predict from here that mostly of the users just want to find answer rather than answering question. Next, uh, the second question is, what is your purpose using Brainly? And just as what the developer proposed at first, 
this application was made to help students done their homework. The survey said that 81% of the responses use this application to help them doing school assignment and the rest of it use Brainly for study and increasing common knowledge. So it's pretty working. The third question is what subject are best asked? This question means what lesson does did you ask and the response is what you expected, what you want, the correct answer. So the biggest score is science and mathematics and it is 40% and 22%. So the next score goes to social subject with only 9%. Can you uh, see the difference? It's a very big difference. So from this chart, we can conclude that Brandly really helps in subject that has exact answer like calculating or formula, not like the social or language subject that usually include opinion uh, in the answer. Even though there are around 22% of responses that answer that Brainly helps almost all of the subject. So until here, we can see that Brainly is still a good application for study. Next question is, uh, we are asking the scoring of Brainly app itself because the question before is just want to know what is the best subject to be asked in Brainly. We don't know yet the quality of the answer that given in Brainly. So the next question is, how good does Brainly answer help you? With score ranging from 1 to 5, 16, 16, yes, 16 person give score 4 to Brainly. If we calculate all the score and get the average, the score for Brainly is 3.7, which means this application is not so bad for students with some improvement and answer sorting maybe it could be a better application next time so 3.7 3 star 3 star and half okay the next question is what is the cost of using Brainly? the the side cost the main cost i don't know i'm giving a option include improving your knowledge or become lazy but they also can give another answer and surprisingly only 50% of the responses says that this application can improve our knowledge while about 38% of the responses says that this application made them become lazy so even the most answer is improve knowledge but 50% are high enough since Brainly is an education based application the rest of responses answer that Brainly helped them done their assignment yeah it's a uh, only very small just 5% 5% and actually I have been prepared for this situation that is why I make the last question the last question is why did you use Brainly? So from here we got 30 response and I try to collect them, put the same similar meaning answer as one and I found that the most reason of using Brainly is the answer is accurate. There are nine person saying the answer is pretty accurate after that eight percent said that Brainly is fast response uh, or they don't have time so they have to search quickly the answer and make their homework so from nine and eight percent we got 70 percent that not using Brainly to improve their knowledge to study but because the answer is accurate and they have no time to thinking or understanding the question. 
the next is easy to understand the answer and easy to use we got four vote for that one and some responses said that they don't understand from the book or what their teacher te taught them and only two only two person say that I like answering question from the last question we can see that most of the user just use Brainly because the answer is pretty accurate and have fast responses but only for said that the answer was easy to understand this can lead us into two conclusion first student today are so busy they have so many activities so they have no time anymore to do their homework that is why they need Brainly to help them and the second conclusion is students nowadays are too lazy to make their assignment by their own because they use Brainly they can use internet to search other information to learn from their friend but why they just ask through Brainly and copy copy the answer but at least the best news is there are still two students who loves answering question instead of asking this is means that some student some student can manage their time to study and even help others to solve their homework but there is also a chance that a teacher join the discussion forum and help students to answer their homework or assignment so Brainly is actually a great student application to improve their knowledge we can see from all of the results above that scoring Brainly 3.7 out of 5 points at answer quality I think this is a good achievement for Brainly since it's not a very old application so there are a lot of advantages we can get from this application uh, from helping study, done our homework, improve our knowledge, and many more. But there are still also drawback from using this application, such as become lazy uh, because we just copy the answer from Brainly and we get the score, or become antisocial because instead of gather with your friend, ask your teacher face to face, we just looking at our device and ask the question. So my suggestion is, as a student, we, as a students, we should use technology wisely. Maybe once or twice, we can just copy the answer because we are running out of time. We are so busy, but try to understand the answer and make our homework by ourselves. Because if we do that, when the teacher asks us again ask us again the same question at least we understand something about it let us support this kind of innovation for better education in the future that's all goodbye <laughs>